Rice, rice, rice. Remarkable rice. Go well with a curry surprise. It's the human staple dietary delight. Brown, white, red, indica, or wild. Paella, risotto, sushi, or Morocco tagine. Everybody. Hello children, welcome to this online field trip. I'm Sam and today we're in Rotterdam which is in the Netherlands and we're going to learn all about rice. Now Rotterdam is just across the North Sea, about 150 miles off the east coast of the UK. And the reason why we're here is this is home to one of the biggest rice milling plants in the whole of Europe. Each day thousands and thousands of tons of rice arrive here from all over the world and they are turned into this little bags of rice that you can buy on the shelves in your local store we've got a really exciting field trip for you today because we have two hosts two experts joining us here in the netherlands we have helga, helga hi thank you for having us here oh thank you for being here it's a great factory we're going to find out all about the factory in a minute and then over in thailand all the way in thailand we have fabulous montry hello montry Hello. Thank Sam, you. Hello. Thank hello, you so everybody. much for joining us. Everybody, hello. Montre is a rice expert as well, so he's going to teach us all about rice. Uh, first of all, let's find out what we are going to learn on today's online field trip. So, Montre, what are you going to teach us from over there in Thailand? I will show you how we plant rice in Thailand. Fantastic. So once Montre has shown us how they grow rice in Thailand, we have uh, Helga here who's going to teach us the next stage. So what are you going to show us, Helga? Well, I'll be learning you something about the different rice types and, uh, and how we pack the rice here in our mill. Great. We'll also be learning all about how we eat and enjoy the different types of rice all over the world as well. Um, so uh, let me ask all that we have joining us today. Um, before we do though, Helga, we probably need to explain the outfits because I think the children uh, are probably going to be saying, why yeah, have we got these well, white we are coats on? Like yeah. <laughs> no, we, are, uh, have to wear, we have to wear this because we are in the food uh, company and uh, because of the hygiene, we have to wear these hair nets and, uh, and the nice uh, jackets. So fantastic. I'm liking my outfit. <laughs> I think the children are as well. <laughs> okay, let's go to our first group. Let's meet Miss Hallam's class, which is Russell Scott Primary School in Denton. Hello everybody in Miss Hallam's class. Hello. Hello. Great, lovely smiley faces there. Let's go over to our next school, which is Abbott's Home School in Utoxeter, where Miss Mayfield's class is taking part. Hello children. Hello. Lovely smiley faces, loads of enthusiastic children as well. Let's go to Derby Grammar Junior School where Miss Monk's class is taking part. Hello everybody! Hello. Fantastic! Lots of very, very eager children there hoping to learn all about rice and I'm sure they are by the end of this online field trip. Uh, first of all then Helga, can you tell us a little bit about where we are? Yeah, correct. Yeah, well, we are at the storage facility and we are surrounded by uh, a huge, uh, uh, of many big bags. And with, these bags? And each contains a lot of rice, yeah. And each bag contains around one ton of rice. A ton of rice, that is crazy. Yeah. So you get thousands and thousands of tons of rice arriving here every day. Where do you yeah. put it all? <laughs> <laughs> well, we put it over here and uh, now we are receiving around about 350 tons of rice each day. We are milling it here. So you can compare it with 350 of, uh, uh, of these bags. That is a lot of rice. Okay, let's go over to our rice expert over in Thailand now, uh, Montre. Can you tell us whereabouts in Thailand are you? Chitani province in the northeast of Thailand. The northeast and of Thailand. So that's a really good area for growing rice then, Montre. A uh, special uh, area to plant the jasmine rice. Fantastic. And of course, rice is an ancient crop. So when did we as humans start eating rice as food? Uh, for thousand, 5,000 years ago, where I have been found in China. Fantastic. As, as far as 5,000 years ago, that's amazing. And uh, is rice grown in different ways around the world, Montre? Uh, there are many countries plant rice and they use different machines to plant rice. 
but for Thailand we use our machine is here. You see, the buffalo is our machine. <laughs> I love that mantra, no machines, just a buffalo. That's absolutely fantastic. And of course, rice we know here as a staple food. So what does a staple food mean? Because we eat rice three times a day and 90% of the Asian country, they eat rice, everybody, and about 50 kilos per year per person. That is a lot of rice, Montreal, as well. So in Asia, and, and I guess you eat three times a day, rice for breakfast, that sounds quite good, doesn't it? And how much do you grow um, over there? And how much do we eat in the world as well, Montreal? Uh, it's about 7,000 people in the world are consume the rice. It's going up every year because uh, the people like to eat rice. About and 700 billion kilo per year the people are eating. That is a lot of rice. Wow, fantastic Montre. Thank you so much for all that amazing expert knowledge there. So Helga, where does the rice that you um, mill here come from? Obviously it comes from Montre, but other places yeah. as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It comes from, uh, from Cambodia or Vietnam or India, Pakistan. Uh, uh, but even from uh, Europe, it comes from oh. uh, Italy or Greece. So I didn't know that. Yeah, that's fascinating. Um, and how much mi uh, rice is milled here per day? Uh, I think that we are milling our, uh, approximately 350 tons um, uh, a day. So that's a lot. You can <laughs> compare it with a bit. 350 yeah. Yeah. humongous bags. Yeah, of that. And correct. what happens once it's milled? When it's milled, then uh, then we are ready to be uh, then to to pack the rice, and um, and that we will be showing you later on in uh, in the here. Exciting, fantastic! Yeah. And so, once it's ready to go, where does it go? Which country? Uh, we distrib distribute it to uh, well, let's say 15 countries, and it goes to Germany, it goes to Belgium, it just it stays here in Holland, um, but it all uh, to Scandinavia, but it also goes to uh, to the UK, to you guys. Fantastic, lovely. We're already learning lots about rice, but let's go over to one of our schools now because I know you've been learning about rice this week in your classrooms. So let's go over to Russell Scott Primary School again and say hello to Miss Hallam's class. Do we have any rice facts there, guys? <laughs> Do we have some rice facts, Miss Hallam? Okay, yes, we've got Makita Thursday thing to share us one of her facts. Rice is grown in over 100 countries and in every continent except Antarctica. Fantastic. Rice plants grow strongly in water and flooded paddy fields. Great fact. So rice grows better in water in muddy fields. That's a really good I didn't know that. <laughs> I bet Montreal knew that. <laughs> and do we have another fact from uh, Miss Hallam's class? Rice can be used to help build a house. Well, this is a good fact. If it's true, rice can be uh, used to build a house. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah. You, oh, you know yeah. that Helga as well. Absolutely fantastic. Great facts there. Thank you so much, Russell Scott Primary. Um, now, I don't know about you children, but when I go into my local store and I see rice in bags like this, I get quite confused something. And I can't imagine how it's grown. Well, this is actually a, a rice plant here. But I think to find out more about how rice is grown, we should go over to Montre. Because Montre, can you tell us um, how rice is grown and whereabouts on this plant it's, it's grown, please? Uh, we grow the rice on the rice field and it's looking like this. And the rice grain, you can see it here. Normally, uh, we... Uh, call it uh, in the Asia country, most of the Asia country, they, we eat rice. Fantastic. So the rice is grown in the fields and then the rice is at the end of the plant. So you learned something else there. Okay, it's time for our first video now and this will teach you all about how rice grows. So enjoy this and there's going to be plenty of opportunities for questions later. How does rice grow? Rice is a grain. 
it looks like grass when it's fully grown. Most of the rice we eat in the UK comes from India, Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, Pakistan and Italy. People in these countries have grown rice for thousands of years. But actually, you can grow rice in most places as long as the plants aren't exposed to the cold. Rice grows in a paddy field. It's different to a field you might see in this country because it's usually flooded with water, which is just how the rice plants like it. The water protects the rice plants from extreme heat and cold and stops the weeds from growing by making the ground too waterlogged for them to take hold. Some rice fields are irrigated with water from nearby rivers. Others are rain-fed areas, containing water that falls during the monsoon season. The rice plants start their growing cycle in a nursery paddy field. After one month, the seedling plants are put into small bunches and transplanted to a larger field to allow them to grow to their full size. The ground in the larger paddy field is prepared for the seedling rice plants by ploughing. They use oxen to pull the plough through the waterlogged field. The small bunches of rice seedlings are then planted in the main field by hand. The seedlings are given plenty of space in the ground because the rice plants will grow to be around a metre tall. It takes three months for the grains of rice to develop at the top of the plant's stalks. When the grains turn yellow and hard, it's time for them to be harvested. In this field, the rice has to be harvested by hand, so during the harvest, the paddy field is drained to make it easier for the workers. The farmers harvest the rice by cutting the stalks with a sickle. Next, they separate the grain from the stalks by threshing it. This is usually done by hand. In some places, the rice is spread out, like this, and the heat of the sunshine dries it out. But often, the rice is stored in large silos, and using dryers, they heat up the air to dry out the rice. Once the rice is dry, the rice grain is separated from the outer husk using this machine. Now it's ready to be placed into these one-ton bags and transported to rice mills in Europe. So that's how rice grows. Now we have moved, we're outside the packing area now. This is where the rice is packaged up, ready to be sent to the stores. It's going to be quite noisy inside, isn't it, Helga? Correct, Holger? correct. But let's go in and have some fun. <laughs> OK, so, so there's lots of activity in here, Helga. Correct, yeah. This is the packaging area. And now I will show you some, just one machine, how it works and how we pack the rice over here. OK, great. So what's happening so, here then? Well, here you can see the rice is moving out and it will, here you also can see the rice and it's dropping in these kind of uh, little cups of two, two cages uh, each and then uh, the packaging will be made. This is the machine and this machine can do around about 20 cages per minute and it's turning on almost. Here you can see the actual uh, turning. And then you can see it's 20, and we have two machines, so we can make 40 per minute. So, Great. But, but come on, and then I will show you more about this uh, machine. Here you can see that the foil we just saw is now shaped around this, and it moves. And here you can see that the rice is inside the package. And it will be cut. And then you have a real nice packaging over here. In this machine, you see here the packaging, there's some air in it. And here it will be pushed out. So there's no air at all in the packaging. And here you can see that there is a label on, uh, on, the, on the packaging. So you can reopen it in, uh, in the kitchen, uh, kitchen uh, and you can re re reuse the, uh, the package. Here it will be lit on the conveyor belt, and we here have a metal detector. So if there's any metal in this rice, then uh, the rice will be rejected 
and will be thrown uh, uh, outside of this conveyor belt. Is that possibly because there might be some metal from the machine? It could be, so then and we want to uh, take out all this, so, um, and then we, uh, then we reject the rice if there's any in it. Okay, great. So we will follow this line, so completely to the end, and then we here have the case packer. And the case packer, here you can see that there are all these kind of cases, and it will be folded like this, and then all the, um, the packages they will be moved in the cages, and then it's uh, it's completely ready, and uh, then the packages can go to uh, on the pelletizer for uh, to the consumers. fascinating stuff so that is how the rice is packed it's time for our next video now and this is all about how the rice is milled so the process before it reaches this packing plant enjoy rice from mill to fork the rice arrives from countries around the world into Rotterdam by ship lorries bring it into the mill and it's inspected to check the quality it's then placed into the unloading pit the bags are opened and the rice falls out. Next, it's transported to large structures outside the grain store, which are called silos. After the rice is placed in the silos, the first job is to clean the rice following its long journey. A magnet and a sieve are used to do this. First, any bits of metal are removed by the magnet, and then the biggest pieces of grit are taken out using a sieve. This machine is the de-stoner. Its job is to remove all the smaller bits of stone left in among the rice grain. Now the rice is ready for milling. The machine looks like this. The grains of rice are milled using large stones, which rub the rice to take off the outer layers. The more the rice is milled, the whiter the rice becomes. So brown rice, like this, is only milled once. But white rice, like this, is milled three times. They have to be very careful when they are doing this, as they don't want to break the tiny grains. This machine is next in the process. It uses water and a rubbing motion to make sure each grain of rice is polished and shiny. Next, the colour of the rice is checked by this machine, using an electronic eye. It looks at every grain, and the discoloured ones are rejected. Nothing goes to waste, as anything the machines reject is used for animal feed. Once the rice is processed, it's then packaged. This clever machine weighs the right amount and then bags it up. Finally, they are put into boxes, and each one is put into a pallet with 120 other boxes. The pallets are covered in protective plastic. Now they're ready to be transported from here to your local store. Welcome back. As you can see, we've moved back to the rice bag, so it's a little bit quieter here, <laughs> Helga. <laughs> OK, so hopefully you've got lots of questions for our guides now, because we are learning lots about rice. So let's go over to our schools. Um, you can ask either Helga or Montre a question. So let's go over to Abbott's home school now. Miss Mayfield, do any of your children have any questions? Um, yes, we've uh, got Aussie. How many grains are there in the rice plant? Could you repeat that just a little bit louder, please? That'd be amazing. How many grains are there in a the rice plant? Well, that's a really good question. I think we should ask Montre this one. Montre, could you answer this? How many grains are there in a rice plant? It's around 200 grain to 250 grain in the rice plant. Fantastic, Montre, what great knowledge. Two to 250 um, grains in a rice plant. That's such a good question, really good question. OK, do we have another question, Miss Mayfield? Yes, uh, we've got Mika. How long does it take for rice to grow? 
Oh, that's another good question. How long does it take for rice to grow? Let's see if Montre can answer that one as well. It took about six months to grow until they can harvest. Well, that's great. That's quite a long time. So six months it takes until it can be harvested. That's quite a while. Great question. Let's get one more question from Miss Mayfield's class. Okay, um, here we've got Amy. Why does rice only grow in hotter countries? That's a really good question, Amy. Uh, Montre, why does rice only grow in hotter countries? And normally the rice is used to for tropical country only, but not in the like let's say in the northern part of the world that's too cool for them. So it only grows in hot countries because it needs the heat to grow. Okay, fantastic. Let's go over to Derby Grammar Junior School now and see if anyone in Miss Monk's class has any questions. Hello, children. Hello. 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 <laughs> We've got Dominic with the first question. Is starch in rice good for us? Is, is starch is rice good for us? Fantastic. That's a really, really good question. I'm going to ask Helga this question, because I think Helga might be able to answer that. Is starch in rice good for us, Helga? Yeah, it's good. It's just that uh, the starch um, makes that the rice uh, will cling uh, more. So, it, uh, so if you have more sticky rice, it means that it's more uh, starch in it. Uh. Fantastic. Lovely. OK, let's go back over to Miss Monk's class. Do we have another question? No. Yes, we've got Adam. How many crops of rice do you get per year? That's a great question. So let's go to Montre for that. Montre, how many crops of rice can you grow in a year? If the area with the rain fed area, we can plant only one crop per year. But if we have irrigation system, we can grow up to three crops a year. Ah, OK, so only one crop per year, but if you have an irrigation system, then you can grow more, another, another crop per year. That's great fat, really good fat. Let's go um, over to Miss Monk's class again. Do we have another question, Miss Monk? Yes, and now we've got Jay. How many different types of rice are there in the world? That's a really good question, Jay. I think Helga might be able to answer this one. Helga, do you know how many different types of rice there are around the world? Around the world? Well, uh, uh, I think uh, there are about 40,000 types of rice, really. Wow. There's a lot of types 40, of rice. 40,000 yeah, types yeah. of rice. So we are only looking at some of the varieties yes. here. But I'm no. not going to try and eat every variety no, of rice. No. 40,000. <laughs> OK, let's go over for one more question at Miss Monk's class. Hey, and here we've got James with a question for Montre. How many different types of that? How many different types of rice do you grow? Fantastic. Well, let's go to Montre. Hi. Montre, could you tell us how many different types of uh, rice that you grow? We grow only two kinds of rice. It's jasmine rice or Thai homely rice and sticky rice. Okay. Yes. So you do those types of rice, that's fantastic. Thank you so much for all those amazing questions, schools. Um, Montre, I have a, another question then. So obviously we've just found out the type of rice that you grow, but um, how much of that comes to the UK for us to eat? Uh, Thailand export rice about 60,000 ton to the UK each year. That is a lot of rice, Montre. <laughs> a lot of rice. Very, very busy man growing uh, rice over there in Thailand. Thank you, Montre. And Helga, where else? Obviously, some of the rice here comes from Thailand, but where else does the rice come from, from around the world to, to come here to be processed? It's from Cambodia, it's from Vietnam, it's from India, it's from Pakistan, it's from, uh, yeah, uh, it's from Italy as well and from wow. Greece. Yeah. Got some 
pretty much all over the world. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, we have some of the rice, that, just a small selection of the yeah, rice correct. that you, yeah. uh, that you uh, have here. Um, and in our schools, you will have some rice as well. So this is the perfect time to pass the rice around, have a little feel and a little smell and look at the differences between the types of rice while Helga talks us through the rice. Yeah, okay. okay so what oh, do I we have, it. Helga? No, well, let's start with fragrant rice. Because the fragrant rice comes from Thailand, and we just heard Mantri, uh, and uh, so this is, uh, uh, yeah, definitely a fragrant rice, and it has a really nice uh, fragrance during cooking time. So that's uh, that that's great. That's and the type of rice that when you're cooking, your you, your your mouth starts watering. You're yeah. like, I can't no. wait to eat this. Correct, yeah, <laughs> correct, yeah, correct. And uh, and the rice, if you are cooking it, it's a little bit sticky. Uh, you can see here. So. Um, uh, but that's, this is a really nice rice, and you can make Thai curry uh, uh, out of it. So. Lovely, yeah. delicious. <laughs> so, and here we have basmati rice. Uh, basmati rice comes from uh, India or Pakistan, and um, and this is the brown rice. So this is the rice how we receive it, and this is then the white rice, how when we have milled the rice here in our uh, in our mill. And basmati rice also has a fragrance. But it's totally different than uh, uh, the fragrant rice. Okay. So that's. Uh, but maybe you can uh, uh, can have a, have a smell in the classroom because that uh, basmati is well in the in the classroom. So Lovely. So Great. And here you can see if you are cooking it, it's dry cooking. So you can see that this is uh, a very yeah dry the, the dry kernel. So. It's different than uh, than the uh, than the Thai one. Great, lovely. They all look really delicious. <laughs> yeah, correct. Yeah, the, the chicken katong dori. Yeah. So, and here we have the uh, the long grain rice. Okay. Long grain rice has a neutral taste and it's uh, yeah no taste at all. So, um, but this you can combine perfectly with uh, no. Well, you can make a fried uh, rice out of it. And uh, it's also a, in a short cooking time, so only 10 minutes, and oh, then uh, then you have a ready dish. Uh, great. So, so I suppose it doesn't spoil the flavour of anything, that, any sauces or anything no, you're going correct, to put yeah. with it. That's this really is the, good. This is the rice which is mostly uh, harvested in uh, throughout the world. So okay. This, uh, this you can find most. Uh, and this is the round grain rice. Mm -hmm. And a round grain rice, you can see in the uh, in the classrooms, it's a, a short kernel, and it's round kernel. So it takes a lot of time to soften the kernel inside. So it's wider, is that why? Because the yeah, water needs to get yeah, inside. Yeah, so it needs around about uh, 30 minutes to really um, yeah, yeah, soften the, the, the kernel. And you can make sushi out of it. Ah. And, uh, and you can make a risotto out of it. So it's a nice, uh, nice rice. Two of my favorite dishes ever. Uh, yeah, <laughs> correct, yeah. And it's also nice to, to, to show to, to the people, this is the brown rice. And uh, the brown rice, um, you can also find in the shops, um, and this has been milled only once. So uh, if we are receiving brown rice, we're only milling it once, and then uh, it's ready to, oh. uh, to eat. And so is that why it keeps its color then? Is that why it's brown? Yeah, it's still brown. So, and we can mill it as well three times, but then it's the white rice. That's so oh. clever. Yeah. I didn't know that brown <laughs> rice and, and white rice was the same. <laughs> That's so good. And so what's the last one you the have? The last one is the wild rice. And um, it's totally different, as you can see, from the other rice types. Uh, it's the dark one. Uh, it has a very tiny uh, kernel. And it, uh, it's a long kernel, but the really thin uh, kernel. And it really looks uh, good if you are mixing this with another rice type. And um, it looks good on your plate. Yeah, it does. And it has, it has a crunchy bite, bite. So that's also nice. Oh, lovely. Yeah. That sounds delicious. Thank you so much, Helga. Oh. Um, let's go back over to Montre now. Montre, um, we just need a little reminder about the type of rice that you grow over there. That would be great, having seen all this amazing rice. We call it uh, the jasmine rice, or Thai homery rice in our area. Fantastic, lovely. Thank you so much, Montre. Right, well, we've learned a lot about rice today. It's amazing to see how it grows, how it's harvested, Correct. and how it's milled and packed and cleaned, ready for us to eat. I think before we go, because we're coming to the end, we should go over to our classrooms now and find out what you've learned. So let's head over to our first class. Let's head over to Miss Hallam's class and Russell Scott Primary School. Hello, children. <laughs> Hi. Can you? Can somebody tell us what you've learned today on this online field trip? Yes, we've got Lewis to tell us about what he's learned today. I have learned where rice grows, how it grows, and the conditions what it needs to be in. 
great. What more do you need to know? Where it grows, how it grows, the whole process really, we have learned that as well. Thank you so much, Russell Scott Primary. Let's go over to our next school now, Abbott's Home School, and Miss Mayfield's class. What have you learned today, children? Okay, we've got two students. We've got Henry and then Tom. I've learned today over 350 tons of rice a day yeah. comes to the factory. Five. Okay, and Tom? There is 40,000 different kinds of rice in the world. Fantastic, great. I think the children didn't realise about how much rice um, was, was milled every day and also the different types of variety. There's so many varieties of rice I think we'd be eating it forever if we were going to <laughs> try it all. Okay, fantastic. Let's go over to our last school now, uh, Derby Grammar School. Miss Hello. Monk. Hello, Miss Monk class. <laughs> what have you learned today? Okay, here we've got Miss Tickler. I have Could you repeat that for me, please? Yes, Christopher says he's learned that rice bread is bread that's made from rice rather than wheat. That's a really good one. So rice bread is made from rice rather than wheat. That's a really, really good fact. Very, very good fact. Well, we hope you've enjoyed learning all about rice today. A uh, big thank you to our guys. Thank yes, you so much, welcome. Helga. And all the way over in Thailand as well. Thank you so much, Montre. Thank you, Montre. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. But thank you so much, children. Don't forget, children, you can continue learning all about rice after the end of this online field trip. There's lots of recipes and lots of activities on the website that you can uh, that can join in. Maybe you can have a little go at some of the foods that Helga was pointing out here, some curries and some sushis and stuff. Maybe your parents can give you a hand with that in the kitchen as well. Um, and don't forget, if you'd like to visit a, a, a producers or a farm, you can go on your own farm to fork field trip as well. Just like the children that you can see on the screen right now, having lots and lots of fun. Everything you need to know and to register is on the website as well. So don't forget to register for that as well. But from Rotterdam, myself and uh, Helga, and from Montreal in Thailand, it's a big goodbye. And thank you so much for taking part. Thank you so much, Russell Scott. Thank you so much, Abbott's Homeschool. Say bye. Goodbye, Darby Grammar. Goodbye. So, Goodbye, everybody. Thank you for bye. taking part on this online field trip. We hope bye you've bye. had fun. Bye. Goodbye. Bye.